All right, guys. Good evening. It is uh, now 8:40 p.m. on um, February. Uh, February. Wow. October 24, 2017, New York time, and we are about 10 minutes post Australian CPI news. So first, let's look at how we came in here, and let me just scroll up a bit here. Oh, let's see if I can do this. Okay. So here's where we're looking from CPI, QQ, and down. And you can see, uh, so on the headline quarter over quarter, we were looking at, they were predicting a 0.8, we got a 0.6. Um, that actually was below the minimum range. The year over year, they're expecting 2.0, came in at 1.8, which was also below the minimum range of 1.9. And then these are the uh, the weighteds and the trim. These are like the, the sub headlines, but all of them came in worse than expected. Okay, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.3 expected 2.0 came in 1.9, 0.5 came in at 0.4, 2 came in at 1.8. Um, these were all in range of their uh, minimums for, uh, on these uh, on these uh, sub categories, but still were all negative. But these two. That's what these little symbols here mean. It was a big surprise, below the median. Uh, I mean the uh, minimum expected number. Okay, so it was pretty overall a pretty negative report, and it pretty much bore out the way I was talking uh, about the charts earlier. So here's the pound Aussie. This is my demo account, guys. I actually closed this one because uh, I had I clicked the wrong button. So but it doesn't matter. It's my demo account. But as you can see, I, I got in right here before the news came out and uh closed it out up here but it's obviously still going and uh, probably will for at least up to this high i would say um so that's the pound aussie the yellow ones i looked at were the, the yellow ones i took on my live account i took that i took the aussie swiss which you can see is still going down and then the euro aussie is way up and uh still going so um so uh, you can see this is going up pretty aggressively now, guys. So, um, you know, I think uh, this pretty much how, as I as I looked at it, and you can see all the Aussie pairs are down. Uh, I didn't take all of these. I didn't take, I took Aussie Canadian here. Um, I didn't take Aussie and that one's moving. I mean, they're all moving down. So it was it was bad news for the Aussie. So. You really couldn't go wrong no matter which one of these you took but i tend to if i can take euro aussie and pound aussie i will because those are the highest pip values of these crosses uh, with aussie yen being um, pretty good too but i didn't take that so uh, anyways guys that's where we got and uh, so it did work out that way um, as i uh, kind of was alluding to in the uh, the videos earlier so i hope you're able to get in and uh, get some pips and uh and uh, it was it was a good trade. Uh, so just to look ahead really quick here, tomorrow morning at 4:30 a.m. New York time, we have the uh, British pound preliminary GDP quarter over quarter and year over year. Okay. Now, um, you know, inflation is really a, a bigger point uh, than GDP right now for the pound. But still, if we get a deviation, this could be a good trade. Expecting a point three, we had a, on the quarter of a quarter. We had a prior point three, so anything either below point two or over point four, we'll see a movement. And uh, on the uh, year over year, they're expecting a slight dip, one point four from a previous one point five, uh, with a range of uh, one point two to one point six. So anything outside of this range would be um, probably uh, provide a good trade. So keep an eye on these. Again, th these are these are probably not as important as um, inflation numbers out of the Australian, uh, excuse me, out of the British pound, um, because that's really what the uh, Bank of England's focused on right now. Inflation has been really running much hotter than they would like. Um, but then again, if these numbers come in really positive, that also would suggest you know a heating up economy, and that may concern the Bank of England, even though they're not. Um, CPI and inflation numbers per se directly. The GDP is a measure of how much their economy outputs. But obviously, in it, you know, anything above expectations mean their economy is heating up, and you know, potentially uh, that could lead to inflationary pressures, even though it's not uh, an inflation data point per se. So, anyways, guys, um, 
Uh, I'm not going to bother looking at the charts of this right now. It's too early. Um, I will look at them in a little bit here, but um, you know, I, I think it's going to be really hard to make any projections um, when we're you know about eight hours or so from this news. So, anyway, so uh, but I did want to bring that to your attention. Beware of the of these moves tomorrow, um, especially if we get uh, something really outside of these expected numbers. So. All right, but uh, again, the, the story is negative numbers for the Australian dollar. I would expect this weakness to continue at least overnight, and uh, we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow. So that's it, guys. Have a great night. Hope you made some pips, and I'll talk to you soon.